today we're looking at trains. For real, we are actually like playing with big trains, like real, real trains. Way up north in the state of Alaska lives a man, his wife, and kids. And this dude, he lives like hella because that's the way he is. Good morning, guys. It is a frigid day here. I think it's like 18 degrees outside, but we are going on a train trip. We're gonna go up north to a cool town called Talkeetna, and it's gonna be awesome. I love trains. I just wish Corey was here, because he's he's really obsessed. There you go. All right, there you go. Thank Welcome you. Aboard. Here we go. All right, we gotta find our seats. Luckily, the family's already there. Our conductor today is Conductor Harry Ross, uh, the number one conductor on the railroad. Uh, these guys, they go by seniority, and uh, he's actually been here the longest. He's going on 49 years now with the Alaska Railroad, so he's uh, the top dog here and the captain of the ship today. This is really neat because we've never taken the railroad in the winter time. We've done it in the summer plenty and a couple times in the fall, but the winter is a whole new experience. And I didn't know this until we looked it up when my parents got here. They have trains that run during the week now. Before they used to just have trains that like went northbound on Saturday and then came back on Sunday. So if you were going to go up, you'd have to do it on the weekend and it would just be like one night. But it's Wednesday, Tuesday today. So we're going up Tuesday and we're coming back tomorrow. So it's nice to have those options. They have this like train magazine that talks about all different stuff. This is where we're going, Talkeetna. So it tells you all the neat things you can do when you get here. Their cat is a mayor. We're definitely gonna look for Mayor Stubbs when we're there. This is what I'm talking about though. Look at their breakfast menu. They have, okay, that's dinner, but breakfast, eggs, French toast. Apparently the stuffed French toast is amazing. It's always impressive to me when trains have amazing food. Because I think it'd be much harder. Chill. It's a, it's a free magazine, yes, but that doesn't mean we just get to tear it all up. Oh, okay. Noises. Oh, there was Beach Lake, the drive to Beach Lake, which is where Corey and I got married. No matter how many times we take this train, that always sneaks up on me. Always. Another thing I think is really cool about our Alaska Railroad is they have this like flag stop train. I don't know if other railroads do this, but basically it's the train that runs north and hunters or campers or anybody can just wave the train down, hop on and then hop off whenever they need to, which is really very valuable here in Alaska because we have so many people that live kind of off the grid and the train is their main mode of transportation to get into the major cities. It's really pretty cool they do that. I would love to do it one day and just go camping out in the middle of nowhere, um, but maybe in a couple years. I don't know if I'm brave enough to just take you in the middle of nowhere camping yet. So we're heading up to get some coffee and snacks. The way they do it on these trains is they offer like light breakfast stuff and coffee first, and then the full breakfast. Oh, so this is cool. It's like a little dining car, but there's a cafe up there. So for your pre-breakfast, you got a uh, massive <laughs> roll. This, this is first breakfast. We still have second breakfast. <laughs> You can make this drive to Dalkeetna, like this is the Glen Highway right in front of us, but taking the train is just so much more fun. Nobody has to drive. You can eat breakfast and just look out, enjoy scenery. So for breakfast, we have French toast, a breakfast scramble, and straight up reindeer sausage. She looks very sleepy. The motion of kind of the back and forth of the train probably is really nice for her to sleep, so we might just sit here the rest to the trip and they fall asleep. Another thing I think is cool about the train is that since they finished breakfast, like anybody can just sit up here. So if you had like a family and games and stuff, then you could hang out in the dining car until it's time for the next meal. In my mind, like for kids and anything, this is an awesome kind of 
staycation, I guess, because what kid doesn't love train rides? So this is a very, very cool trip. This looks very sweet, completely natural, but in reality, mom's supporting dad's elbow with her arm and shoulder, and dad's holding her. But it's still adorable. Alaska Railroad has the most beautiful trains. Like I love the color combinations, but it is goodbye for now, Railroad. This is our sweet ride in Talkeetna. We're staying at a place called the Roadhouse and they're picking us up at the train. It's not too terribly far to get from the train depot to Talkeetna because it actually stops right in town, but it is cold, so it's nice to have the ride. So here we are in beautiful downtown Talkeetna. Dad and I figured we might as well walk because it really is a beautiful day outside. I've never been to Talkeetna in the heart of winter like this and it looks so different. I'm having a little trouble getting my bearings, but really Talkeetna has just one main street, so it's not like we can get lost. Right over here, if you guys remember from our vlogs, Corey's cousin Joseph has his taco stand down this alley during the summer. Yeah, no tacos right now. You can't even get back there. But if you guys are here in the summer, go get a little Cali in the alley and have some tacos. And it looks like this is where we're staying, the roadhouse. This may seem a little weird, but you guys are gonna come into the bathroom with me for a second. Check out like all the flyers on the bathroom walls. This is all the amazing stuff you can do in Tlaquita. Hi guys. Like they have zip lining and yoga and just every everything you could want to do, trail running, that maybe, maybe that in the summer, but all this cool stuff, photography workshops, this is what we're doing. A pie making class. We're gonna do this tomorrow. Apparently they have really awesome pies here at the Roadhouse. I've actually never had one, but Everybody talks about how good they are. So tomorrow, we're gonna learn how to make them. One of the railroad employees was telling us that during spring break for Anchorage, the railroad is running like six days a week. So they're coming up to Talkeetna and even all the way up to Fairbanks a lot during the winter, which they didn't used to do. So if you guys ever need a trip and you live here in the Anchorage area, just take the railroad. A lot of the trips you can take up to Talkeetna, like the pie making class and all the trips up to Fairbanks where you can go see the auroras or go like above the Arctic Circle and really cool stuff. Those are all vacation packages with the railroad. So that's how we found out about this one. It's all like a group package. It's really, really cool. I'll put a link down below in the video description so you guys can go read about all the stuff they offer. One of my favorite things to do here in Talkeetna is free and it's just walking to the inlet and looking at the mountains and the water, which is gonna be all ice, but still it's really pretty. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they've gotten some snow here. It's definitely to the bumper. There's no way that truck's going anywhere. You know what? Good on Talkeetna because even though they have so much snow, they obviously maintain the trail to the inland. This trail's actually in better condition now than it is in the summer when we've been here. And here we are. Yeah, it is definitely all like snowy and frozen over. That right there is usually a running river. And the mountains are looking beautiful. I actually don't know which one's Denali, but... They all look huge from here. So if you guys were here, knowing that this is usually a river, would you run out there and uh, walk on it? We made it into our cabin at the roadhouse and it is so adorable. And it's like the epitome of Alaska to me. There's no bathroom in our cabin. It's in the main lodge, but look how close we are. That right there is the main lodge. So we just have to get to that door. So super easy. And here's the entry of our cabin. A nice little fridge and microwave, which is cool. We're using this to put all of our stuff on. And this is the main room. There's a bigger bed there, a smaller one here. That's our source of heat. And then this ladder, there should be some mattresses up there for anybody who wants to sleep up top. Oh, we love it. It's very cool, isn't it? Hi, Kristen. Hey, baby girl and Mark and Angela. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I am having the best day. I'm not the best. It would be, it would be the best if I was there with you, obviously, um, but the best that I could have out here. Um, if you haven't seen my S&P Films video yet, uh, you'll, you'll understand what happened so I don't have to go back into 
uh, details, but um, I'm happy. And the, the rest of this challenge is going to be a heck of a lot easier. Not easy, <laughs> but easier. Um, but yeah, I do miss you guys so much. I say that every day, but I, I can't I can't help it. I just, I, I really, I want to see you guys. Um, Mark, uh, I do have to say that um, you're probably going to be disappointed when I get back because I don't think I've got any bot flies just saying, mosquitoes haven't been so bad. I got I got bites all over me, but these are from these freaking sand flies. They're, they're like, I don't know, they're like really microscopic little fleas, man. Oh, they're terrible. But no bot flies. I'm kind of glad about that. Uh, Angela, when I get home, I'm not going to lie, I'm, <laughs> this sounds crazy. I'm kind of craving some of that apple cider vinegar. <laughs> I'm craving the weirdest things, but I, you know, since since I had to go through that stuff, I, uh, it, it just, I, 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 I do crave it. Um, but yeah, and then, I, 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 ha I do have a request from you guys, by the way. When I get home, I know you're, you guys are all only going to be there one day, but when I get home, can we have a big meal? Like something just really big and, and just like, just delicious. I know that's probably in the, in the, in the plans, but... <laughs> Dude, I'm having so many food dreams. Yeah. And Chell Marie, I'm not gonna look quite the same when you see me next. Uh, see this stuff, baby girl? This is gonna go away, so please recognize daddy, okay? I hope you're crawling. I hope you're crawling. I hope you're doing real good. I hope you're smiling a lot. I miss you so much. You're my favorite little person in the whole world, and daddy's doing this to make you and your mama and myself and everybody else proud. Saying goodbye to sunshine, saying goodbye to warm Heading to Alaska where ice will be the norm So much to see, so much to do And the best part is we're sharing it with you